Late summer 1977, Cape Canaveral buzzed with anticipation as a Titan 3E rocket stood ready, Voyager 2 perched atop. A few weeks later, Voyager 1 would follow, both embarking on a grand tour of the outer planets, a rare opportunity that comes once every 176 years. Their mission was more than exploration, it was a declaration we are here. Each Voyager carried a golden record, a time capsule of Earth. This record held 115 images, greetings in 55 languages, and music from Bach to Chuck Berry, even the sounds of whales and a baby's cry. It was humanity's introduction to the cosmos, a message in a bottle cast into the stars. The countdown thundered across the launch pad, engines roared, the rocket lifted and with it, our dreams left Earth. Scientists and engineers watched, knowing this journey would outlast them all. Voyager wasn't just a machine, it was an emissary, a silent ambassador on an endless voyage. The music chosen for the golden record was meant to convey the depth of human emotion and intellect. Beethoven, Bach, Blind Willie Johnson, our art, our joy, our sorrow, all launched into the void. These sounds became a whisper in the vast silent expanse of space, a whisper that says, we create, we feel, we wonder. The launch of Voyager was more than a scientific mission, it was a poetic act, a grand overture to a cosmic opera. As the rocket faded from view, humanity's message began its journey into eternity. The golden record was not just for aliens, it was a mirror for us, reflecting our hopes and our place in the universe. Voyager's departure marked the beginning of a story that would stretch across time and space. Our small world had reached out, and the universe was listening. The Voyager mission was a masterclass in celestial mechanics, a cosmic billiards game using gravity assist to leap from planet to planet. Voyager 2 launched first, charting a path to Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Voyager 1 followed, aiming for close-ups of Jupiter, Saturn, and Titan. At Jupiter we saw the Great Red Spot as a raging storm and discovered volcanic activity on Io, proof that distant moons could be alive. The data transformed our understanding of the gas giants, revealing vibrant complex systems. Saturn's rings once thought solid were unveiled as thousands of ringlets shaped by tiny shepherd moons. Voyager 1's flyby of Titan revealed a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere, making it a future target for exploration. Voyager 1 then left the planetary stage, while Voyager 2 pressed on. At Uranus, Voyager 2 found new moons and faint rings around a planet tipped on its side. Neptune, the final stop, surprised us with fierce storms, supersonic winds and the geysers of Triton. Four planets, 48 moons, countless rings. Voyager 2's grand tour redrew our map of the solar system. The planetary mission ended, but the real journey was just beginning. The Voyagers had become our eyes and ears at the edge of the unknown. Their discoveries rewrote textbooks and inspired a new era of exploration. The Grand Tour was complete but the odyssey into interstellar space had only just begun. Humanity had reached farther than ever before. The adventure was far from over. With the planets behind them, the Voyagers set course for interstellar space, aiming to cross the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends. For decades they sailed through the heliosphere, measuring particles and magnetic fields, mapping the edge of our solar system. In 2012, Voyager 1 detected a dramatic shift, solar particles dropped, cosmic rays surged, it had crossed into interstellar space. Voyager 2 followed in 2018, confirming the heliopause was a turbulent, shifting frontier. Their data revealed the heliosphere's true shape, compressed and sculpted by the galaxy's magnetic field. Today, the Voyagers are unimaginably distant, their signals faint but still reaching Earth. Their power is fading, by 2030 they'll likely fall silent. Yet their journey continues, drifting through the Milky Way for millions of years, carrying the golden record. They are silent witnesses to our curiosity, our reach, and our hope. The Voyagers have become the first human-made objects to enter the space between the stars. Their legacy is a testament to exploration without end. Even in silence, they will carry our story onward. The cosmic journey goes on. Voyager's most profound gift wasn't data, but a photograph. In 1990 at Carl Sagan's urging, Voyager 1 turned its camera back and captured Earth from 6 billion kilometers away, a pale blue dot. Our planet, a single pixel in a sunbeam, became a symbol of fragility and unity. That image forced us to see ourselves anew, every life, every story, every conflict, all on a mote of dust. The pale blue dot inspired environmentalism and global cooperation, reminding us that Earth is our only home. It challenged our divisions and our sense of cosmic importance. 
The photograph became a lesson in humility, a call to cherish and protect our world. Borders vanished, only a single unified planet remained. Voyager's parting glance was a mirror, reflecting our shared fate and our place in the universe. It changed how we see ourselves, forever. The pale blue dot endures as a symbol of hope and responsibility. Voyager gave us not just a picture of Earth but a new perspective on what it means to be human. In the vastness of space we are together. Beyond the heliopause the Voyagers became our first direct explorers of the interstellar medium, the thin plasma, gas and dust between stars. Their instruments measured the density, temperature and pressure of this alien environment, revolutionizing astrophysics. Cosmic ray detectors confirm the heliosphere shields us from high-energy particles, vital knowledge for future space travel. The probes mapped the interstellar magnetic field, revealing it to be stronger and more complex than expected. They detected plasma oscillations, vibrations in the interstellar gas, caused by distant solar storms. These findings let us calculate the true density of space between the stars. The Voyagers showed us that interstellar space is dynamic, not empty. Even as their power fades, they continue to surprise us. The space between stars is no longer a mystery. It's a frontier we are beginning to understand. The Golden Record is Voyager's most hopeful legacy, a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic sea. Carl Sagan's team faced a daunting challenge, how to represent humanity to unknown intelligences. The record's cover is etched with diagrams, pulsar maps, instructions, a return address in the language of physics, its contents are a tapestry of life images of DNA, cities, families, greetings in dozens of languages, music from across cultures and eras. The record is honest, showing both our achievements and our everyday moments. The odds of it being found are infinitesimal, space is vast and the voyagers are tiny. But the real audience was always us. Creating the record forced us to ask, who are we, what do we value? The golden record is a mirror, reflecting our aspirations and our hope to be remembered. It's a declaration that we are curious, creative, and reaching out. Even if no one ever hears it, the act of sending it matters. Scientists view Voyager with awe, a journey of discovery that constantly surprised us. Dr. Ed Stone, project scientist, called it pure exploration. Every encounter brought the unexpected, from Io's volcanoes to the heliopause. Dr. Tom Krimigus marveled at the spacecraft's resilience, built in the 1970s still operating in deep space. Voyager is a benchmark of human potential, a standard for future missions. Anne Druyan, creative director of The Golden Record, saw it as a mythic act, a story we tell ourselves about our longing to connect. Sending our music and art into the galaxy is an expression of hope. Voyager's legacy is twofold, scientific revolution and cultural inspiration. It's become part of our collective story, a silent messenger carrying a piece of us into eternity. Voyager reminds us we are explorers, always reaching for the unknown. Its journey is a testament to what humanity can achieve. Voyager's billion-dollar price tag spread over 50 years amounts to just cents per American per year. For that, we revolutionized our view of the solar system. Space missions drive innovation, new materials, computing, robotics, and communications that benefit life on Earth. Technologies like GPS and medical imaging trace their roots to space exploration. Investment in space is an investment in our future. Voyager inspires new generations to pursue science and engineering, fueling progress and economic growth. The real prize isn't just data, it's perspective. Voyager's discoveries help us understand our planet and our place in the cosmos. The cost of ignorance is far greater than the price of exploration. Knowledge is civilization's most valuable asset. By any measure, Voyager was a bargain. The Voyagers will one day fall silent, but their journey continues through us. They've passed the torch to new explorers, missions like Parker Solar Probe and James Webb Space Telescope, built on Voyager's legacy. Exploration is a relay race across generations, not a single mission. Supporting space exploration is essential, it drives innovation and unites us in common purpose. The challenges we face on Earth require the same bold thinking that sends probes to the stars. The perspective gained from space fosters global cooperation and hope. Anyone can join this journey by supporting science, sharing discoveries and nurturing curiosity. The cosmos belongs to everyone, it's our shared inheritance and future. Voyager's questions, are we alone, what is our place, are universal. The story of Voyager is a story of hope and daring. Our silent ambassadors carry our music and image into the galaxy. Their legacy endures as long as we look up and wonder. The voyage continues.